Hey, what's up you guys? It's me, Luke, and welcome back to another video. Or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you're new around here, I post commentary and critique and reaction videos. Basically, I just love sharing my opinion on anything that interests me on the internet. So if any of that interests you, then be sure to go ahead and subscribe and turn on the post notifications bell so that you never miss another upload from me. Alrighty guys, so today's video is another installment in my reaction to Tana Mojo's MTV show. If you don't know, I've been covering the series since season one. I have a playlist linked down below of all the previous episodes if you'd like to go ahead and catch up on those. But basically, I just react to Tana Mojo MTV show and give my commentary on it because it's a pretty interesting, for lack of a better word, show. So that is what we're going to be doing today. But before we hop into it, I just wanted to acknowledge the fact that obviously everything that's going on in the world right now is crazy. And I hope that you all are staying safe and listening to your governments. And I just want to say that I'm really, really sorry to anyone who's been affected by it. It's a really crazy thing happening right now. And I just hope that in times like these, where a lot of people are having to stay at home, that my videos can just be a positive distraction for you. So anyway, on a lighter note, let's just go ahead and hop right into this because I I'm about to dive in to the steam and pile of shit. <laughs> Let's go. Alrighty, so this episode is titled Tana Faces a Shocking Diagnosis. So I assume this is where we're gonna finally find out what has been going on with that cough of hers, which will be very interesting. So let's just go ahead and check it out. Whoa. Oh my God. Ashley and Amari are here. Wow. Oh, it's so, it's so cute in here. So Jordan just recently moved out of our pool house office. Rest in peace. But he's moved on to bigger and better things. This is mine. It's so much bigger than I thought, honestly. Right now. Loki, Jordan's new office is kind of like banging. It's like in a nice ass building with a nice ass view. This is so much better than the pool house. Why didn't you do this a long time ago? Yeah, Jordan, why didn't you do it a long time ago? You could have saved yourself a lot of pain and agony. World's best manager. Yeah, Which so one do you think I should bring out today? Thank worst. <laughs> Absolutely worst. We got a bone to pick. Um, why? What's up? I'm sick of sending Sean Mendez DMs and not getting noticed because there's no Blue check. Your name, your company name is We Are. Right, yeah, but we aren't. Yeah, we really aren't. You are. We're all verified. That's the. That's why I named it that. We don't need blue check marks to be verified. We are. Tell that to Instagram and Twitter algorithm. Yeah, tell that to any company I DM. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you alive so hard. You're not verified on Instagram and Twitter. <laughs> I feel like someone's taken more serious when they're verified, and then you're supposed to just like kind of a flex on like other people that thought you wouldn't make it. Okay, no offense, but like y'all wouldn't make it if it wasn't for Tana Mojo, and that's just all facts. We also want to verify people who actually are in the public eye in actual publications. Yeah. Like we are there. I feel like we'll grow so much more if we have check marks. Jordan better pull through with this verification, otherwise I'm taking that we are verified sign and name of the company, and it's going in the trash. Y'all, I understand that this is supposed to be funny, but it just makes you look like spoiled brats. All of us are going to be verified very soon because that's what happens when you reach a certain level. I'm more so worried about like your work and careers and what you guys are doing, right? If we start increasing consistency and viewership, your rates go up. So instead of getting, you know, $10,000 for a two minute shout out, you get 15,000. And the truth is, yeah. if you guys do consistently post, I'm not joking, it will more than double the amount of revenue that you guys made last year. Oh my God, who would have thought that posting more makes you earn more money? <laughs> what a concept. Not gonna lie, since Jordan has left, I feel like everyone's work ethic kind of has slowed down a little. It's honestly just because now you don't have to worry about Jordan walking in and like you have to be like terrified because he's gonna be like, where's video and you're gonna be like, like <laughs> honestly think that's kind of pathetic like a manager is supposed to be someone who like, helps you with exterior stuff like getting sponsorship stuff like that it's not supposed to be someone who motivates you to film like you should do that yourself it's not that hard there are much more difficult jobs out there <laughs> y'all are just lazy i want you posting one new video on youtube a week do you know how many that is per year no 50 something 56 54 57 I can't tell if they're trying to be stupid or if they just are. There is no way in hell that Ashley and or Amari are able to post once a week for the rest of the year. They can't post one video a week. One. I post two and I'm a university student. Literally all they do is sit in Tana's house. Like, <laughs> pathetic. You've committed to one video a week. You've committed to one video a week. Yeah, and you're gonna get us verified, right? On God? I don't believe in God. I believe in hard work. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get this lighter, please? Thank you. Oh my god. 
Do you want me to do a haul of all that I got for all the blunts I'm gonna smoke after the doctor? Ugh, just, yeah. Am I happy that Tana decided to buy numerous things to smoke while we're on the way to a lung doctor? Um, no, but my main objective is to get her to this doctor and have her seen by a medical professional. We probably should discuss how, like, you're gonna need to take a break from smoking. I will never want. Like, it might not be an option. Now is a really, really, really bad time to be a smoker. Just saying. I mean, it's never a good time to be a smoker, but like now it's especially bad. It's like my life is just so stressful. That's my stress relieving outlet. It's far better than a lot of things I could be doing. Oh, I don't know about that. You mean you could go to the gym, you could uh, go to therapy, uh, you could um, meditate, uh, you could do a lot of different things. It's definitely better than some things, but like, I don't know what I... I just don't see myself stopping. It's actually like suicide. Have a corner, and shut Oh, She's just so rude. Ugh. Fundamentally, I don't have a problem with her smoking at all. The problem is when you've had this kind of an issue for this long, how smart is it of you to continue doing so? <laughs> She's literally so obnoxious. Like, is she just like this? Like, I know Tana is obnoxious, but for some reason in the MTV show, God, she's annoying. But it's crazy, I guess, because my parents would go to a doctor and then they would be like, oh, bill us, and then like never pay it. So I would always go to a different doctor every single time. Isn't that crazy? Jesus. I have really bad like PTSD towards doctors because I grew up where I would be on my deathbed and my parents would be like, we're gonna scream at you at the top of our lungs for being a terrible child. And then you're not gonna have school lunch for the week because we paid for your doctor's appointment, you know? Yeah, like I get it, PTSD, trauma, like whatever, you had a tough childhood, we get it. You, you say the sub story for like every single excuse ever. And I'm saying that as someone who had a really tough childhood too. So like, I get it, but like, girl, grow up. You're 21, you have the money to go to a doctor. Like, you're just making excuses. Ugh. I might throw up. I have so much anxiety, I could throw up. Stop thinking about it. I'm having a mental breakdown. Ugh, I hate it when people say they're having a mental breakdown so flippantly. Like, what even is a mental breakdown at this point? Like, that's the real question. You know what I'm saying? Ugh, it'll probably be me by the end of the series, let me tell you that much. Okay, change your mind, okay. stripped. I love how they're just casually recording Jordan, like, literally committing a crime by being on his phone while he's driving. <laughs> When Tana went to an urgent care, um, a doctor told her that it could be tuberculosis. Obviously, it's a possibility. I'm being really serious, though, just so you know. While I think that you do know that I do care, like, this is not a question for me. Thank you, ma'am. I know you care about me. Just, like, for real, though, just so you know. What? Like, that, like, for real. Oh, what? Oh, like, oh, 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 you love me? Oh, you. Oh, 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 my God, just shut up and fuck. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Unless. I'd say I love you, so adorable. You can do serious. I'm super grateful that Jordan cared enough to make the appointment, but I feel like everything everyone says to me, I don't trust. <laughs> I can't. I don't trust to an extent because I've just lived a life of seeing what happens if you trust people. I always am kind of like, okay, well, we'll see if you do. I think actions speak louder than words. What do you mean? Like, he's literally booked the appointment. He's doing it for you. Like, he's shown you that he's cared multiple times. He bought you a freaking cake. Like, girl, he is showing that he cares about you. You are just unappreciative, and you're just, like, looking for problems. <coughs> oh, man. Um. Oops. I'm just so happy with you. I have no idea what's wrong with me. I know that symptoms like incessant, crazy coughing attacks and spitting up blood and coughing up mucus at all times are definitely all symptoms of things that aren't great, so. Oh my God, she's crying. That's how intense it is. Girl, how have you left it this long? How have you let it get this bad? Damn. I'm nervous. <laughs> Come on in. Arriving at the doctor's office, Tana seems okay. She's not freaking out, which is a really great sign. She's kind of going with the flow, so, so far, so good. Wait, this hurts so bad. I hope they figure out what's wrong with me in this one appointment because I am never coming back. Oh my God, can you take this off me? I can't do this. I'm sorry. Okay, Girl, let the lady do her job in peace. Like that hurts so bad, I can't. I'd literally rather have a cough. I kind of want to leave. Would you be mad if I just left? I would be beyond mad, yeah. Like that was so painful. My arm literally hurts so bad. I don't want to go through this. Oh my God, I went to the doctors with my like three-year-old brother a few years back and he had that done and didn't even wince. How are you this dramatic? At some point, like you have to like deal with it. 
But if like more like inconveniences happen like that, I'm probably gonna leave. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. I don't know what to say. I can pretend like I like it, I can pretend it's normal, but I hate this. Nobody likes going to the doctor. You just deal with it because that's what you have to do. I was never raised or conditioned to like it. And now I'm just at a point where stuff like this gives me so much anxiety. And it's also just like the PTSD of doctor's offices of like my whole life, like. Does Tana know what PTSD is? Does she really know what it is? Because I would like to know what happened to her in a doctor's office that gave her post-traumatic stress disorder. <laughs> Oh. Hello, editing Luke. I never do this, but I quickly wanted to pop in because this kind of comes across like I'm being a little bit insensitive and I just wanted to put a disclaimer that I'm not trying to diminish anyone's mental health struggles or Tana's. I just think that she's being extremely dramatic and blowing this out of proportion and I do understand how she may have some anxiety from her childhood when it comes to doctors, but like using terms like PTSD and mental breakdown, which are very serious terms for this, I just think is kind of ignorant. And also, I don't think that her having anxiety about going to the doctor is an excuse for her to be rude to the nurse, the doctor or Jordan. Okay, enjoy the rest of the video. When you're sitting there, you can't run from that kind of stuff. Tana, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. They told me that you're having a problem with a cough. Yeah, I've had like a chronic cough to the point of like coughing so hard I'm gonna like throw up. And I've been to like several urgent cares to treat it. I've been on like a lot of antibiotics for it. When I lay down, it feels like there's water in my lungs. And then the cough, are you bringing up anything? Sometimes it's like super phlegmy for like a week and then sometimes it's super dry. Then tell me a little bit about your smoking history. I smoke a lot of tobacco related products. I don't smoke cigarettes like daily at all, but I smoke a lot of marijuana, which obviously comes with like tobacco leaf. Okay, vaping. <laughs> No, not really. Okay. Oh, she be lying. So what we do here is a pulmonary function testing where you blow into a machine. You know, we can get an x-ray today as well. So yeah, yeah, and I can actually okay. show you everything today as far as results. Thank you. I hate this. Like, he's so nice. I just yeah. like... Are you kidding me? You have to blow into a tube. Yes, can, Jordan, Jordan, we see each other. We see each other. Like, it's not that hard. <laughs> Why are you so dramatic? I've spent the last, like, eight months running from this. Now I'm finally here in the doctor's office. It's like, this could be real. I want, I've never before. wanted to leave somewhere more in real life. I can work all day and try to pretend like everything's fine, but when you're taking a test like this, it's right in front of your face, and it's really emotional. It's terrifying. And then take a deep breath in, and exhale. There, almost there. Take a deep breath in. It really sucks taking a breathing test like this and just knowing that as hard as I'm trying to do this stuff, I can't. I just hate when you're sitting there, you can't run from that kind of stuff anymore. Okay, deep breath in. <laughs> and normal breathing. <coughs> you okay? <coughs> yeah, I like, can't see. Try to get as much oxygen in. I know, I just like, can't get any in, it sucks. <laughs> Whew, okay, it's pretty serious. This is a big deal for Tana, and it wasn't just the fact that it's a physically tough thing to do. She actually has a lot of trauma from being here and doing any of this. So I am proud of her in a lot of ways for getting through this. I am too. As much as I was criticizing her before, I am glad that she went through with this because she could have easily just said no, stuff you, Jordan, and gone, gone on with it. So it's good that she's taking like initiative on it. Well, she's not really, cause like she didn't really, he, whatever, you know, good on you. That's pretty much what I'm trying to say. This needs to like go down so we have like a good angle. Oh my God, being a YouTuber is so hard. Oh my God, it's so hard. <laughs> I literally have like a bigger setup than they do. And they're like so much richer than me. They have one Canon G7X. Get on my level, bish. We told Jordan that we would post one video a week on YouTube, at least. So today, it's time to make a video. What's up, ladies and gentles? Welcome back to my channel. We are gathered here today with Knockers herself. Round of applause, ladies and gentles. Round of applause She's for here, Knockers. They're here. Oh, imagine your friend referring to you as Knockers. So we're putting her to the test today and seeing if she can do my makeup in 10 minutes. I chose this video idea because the footage will be roughly 10 minutes, which means it'll be really easy to edit and I can just burn through it really fast and get that one video out for the week and meet Jordan's deadline. So give me my verification. This will be interesting for your fans to watch to see that you don't actually really care about making videos and you just want to smash out a 10 minute video just for that purpose. It's just gross, like honestly, I don't like this. <laughs> This is intense. I can feel the intensity. We are such good friends, and we've never ever filmed a video, just the two of us, for my channel before. And because Ashley cracks, so that means more views for me, which means bigger check. Wow. Uh, I hate this. I just hate this. These are not my kind of people. With her support, I can make a solid grand off of this video and ad revenue in like a week. How can he like 
say this stuff. Like, does he think people are gonna watch this and like, like him? This is so obnoxious. Well, you actually did way better than I thought that you would do. I'm gonna go walk the streets of Hollywood Boulevard now, and I will see you in the next video. Hey! Bye. And she's off. I have to like clean this up. Do you think I should leave this makeup on for when Tana gets back from the doctor? Yo, if she, Tana comes back and like tells us she has tuberculosis, everyone's life is over. Everyone's life is over because everyone's life revolves around Tana Apparently. That's gonna be so scary. It'll be okay. Tana has become the most important aspect of my life and, and the biggest aspect of my life. I have put almost everything on hold to help her and to further her career. Interesting client manager relationship, if I've ever seen one, you know what I'm saying? You know Jordan actually has other clients, in case you guys were curious. Other clients outside of Tana's friendship group. You wouldn't know, would you? I would be devastated if something were to happen to Tana. So we got uh, all the tests done. How are you feeling? Great. <laughs> it wasn't that bad, right? Right? Oh no, it was terrible. But I'm like the only because of my own defaults, not you guys. You guys are all wonderful. So I have, uh, I have results for you. Your x-ray looks clear. Okay. The blood flow into the lung look good. Your muscle strength look good. But your breathing test does show that you do have airways that are what we call constricted. So I do think you have a component of asthma. This probably turned on by some type of a viral infection. Viral? Viral infection. When was this filmed? So I'm not concerned that you're gonna have long-term issues. Get them back to normal and then let you get back to your life. Is there anything else that it could be other than just restriction from asthma, like TB? So TB is a little bit different. You know, most of the time with TB, we will have uh, fevers, night sweats, coughing up blood. I've had like periodical fevers, but I've also just been sick periodically, yeah. so I guess it, yeah. yeah. Don't dismiss it as a possibility. I don't think it's our number one. TB tests certainly can be done. I don't wanna do that. Um, all right. So the question is, is, is really how to treat you. My recommendations to you is to actually give you an inhaler. Okay. So this one would be two puffs twice a day. Give 10 days and come back. Okay, yeah. I don't know a lot about asthma, so please correct me if I'm wrong and I don't want to come across as insensitive, but usually isn't it caused by something like shortness of breath or running too fast or walking or something like that? Like she's just coughing randomly, these random coughing attacks, coughing up blood. Like these don't really seem like symptoms of asthma to me. Maybe it's just because she has asthma and it's made worse by everything that she ingests. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'm curious to know because like I said, I don't I don't know a ton about it. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like there's something else going on. Yeah, quick going, please. Can we, are we good? Is there anything else in terms of care that we should like be doing? Sorry. Can you please stop asking questions? Dude, this is honestly like, I want to know this. Ooh, ooh, that's rude. You know, he's just trying to help you, okay? Yeah, as far as care, of course, not smoking is best. Uh, I what I, smoke. Okay. I'm just saying. I mean, you can, you can. <laughs> like the devil's lettuce is not addictive, so. You can. I feel like as soon as Tana heard the word asthma uh, as being the diagnosis, she kind of checked out, but having the diagnosis doesn't cure your symptoms. There's still work that you have to do. All right, Thank so you. I'll let me do this, so it's yours. Okay, awesome, let's take a break. All right, pleasure. All right. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. All right, sure. Oh my God, it's gonna take 45 Isn't minutes. that insane, like the amount of time we've been like like putting in energy to this? Like, oh my God. I'm not, I'm not coming back in 10 days, by the way. That's insane. Especially over asthma. I've asthma, I've asthma. <laughs> I think it's like, for us that. It's not funny though, people die from asthma. Go kill me. I don't. Wow. If you're asthmatic, let me know what you think of this. I'm curious because being asthmatic right now with everything going on literally can kill you. I might as well have just gotten a clean bill of help. Tana, that's ridiculous. This is something that has affected her in a really negative way. It's affected her musical career. She can't wake up in the morning. She's having coughing attack. This is more serious than just labeling it as asthma. Okay, let's be clear. I'm pretty sure Tana Mojo was not exactly an early riser before all of this started happening. And her music career, well, <laughs> nothing a little auto-tune can't fix. Nothing a little auto tune hasn't fixed. I'm not gonna make any changes to my health. I don't really see myself as someone taking that kind of medicine right now. I gotta be honest, like, even saying that, like, people who heard that would just think you're that's fine. That. Yep, yep, that's pretty much it. And also a bad role model to her young fans. Asthma is better than tuberculosis. It's severe asthma, and the fact that you think that means you can just go on not caring about anything is super frustrating. Well, thank you for that piece. I'm glad you got it off your chest. I got a lot of things off my chest today. 
or not <laughs> get it because the dress has my eye. Is she drunk or is this just how she acts? Because <laughs> it's annoying. <laughs> Clearly, she doesn't understand that this is serious. Why would you not care about your own health? Why would you not care about not coughing? Like, doesn't that bother you to cough? Stop pressing me. Like, why don't you care? You have to care. You do care. No, I don't. I think Jordan always thinks he's doing what's best for my interests, but he doesn't take into consideration, like, me, my feelings, what I'm capable of. Our lives were just so different that it's hard for us to see eye to eye on something like this. At this point, I think Jordan should just give up. It's like talking to a brick wall, honestly. In fact, I think a brick wall would be more responsive. Excited to let Ashley and Amari know that I literally just have asthma. I know they're gonna feel the same way as me. All of them have been insanely worried. Like, we've been talking about this a lot. I know, it, like, it's behind. really cool to see how many people in my life are actually really worried about my health. I really hope that Tana's friends are there for her and understand that this is something that's been really pulling everybody down for months. So I'm really hoping that they can be on my side with this and let her know that this is something she really needs to focus on herself. And now I just wanna eat fast food, smoke weed, tell my friends. I literally love caffeine. I can't believe she actually went to the doctor today. I wonder like what the f said about her lungs. Hey guys, did you hear us come in? I'm so excited to see you. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Stop. I'm a little confused right now because Jordan seems more reserved. And he's kind of being quiet, but then Tana's over here. <laughs> what? Like that's so unnecessary. Wait, so what happened to the doctor? I actually like really want to know. I got asthma. That's asthma? It? It's just been asthma this whole time. Like you could have just had an inhaler and fixed everything. I mean, an inha inhaler doesn't fix everything. Like you still have asthma. So what do we do now? Do we have a party? Do we go to a hookah lounge? Me talking to my lungs. I bet you can handle it. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I mean, I'm hoping in some sense that their attitudes are based on Tana's relief, right? And they want to share that with her and be in the moment. That being said, they also need to understand that they've all witnessed a major health issue for a long period of time, and this is not a joke. That's not just it, though. Like, you guys have all seen, like, how bad it's gotten. It's like, like in I've terms seen... of her coughing. Well, yeah, her she life. hasn't been treating it. It's just weird to me because, like, people with asthma don't cough up blood. That's why I think it's something more than asthma. It's weird. There's a chance that it gets better. I feel like you're not going to use the inhaler. Like, she I feel will. like you don't care. Yo, I agree. <laughs> yo, yo. I was saying this the whole car right home. Yo. I don't care. <laughs> and you can't make me care. <laughs> oh my God, not caring about your health is so funny. <laughs> At some level though, like as her friends, like straight up, like we're having fun, but like she's dead serious and does not give a about her health at all. Well, as well so care. regular. Like everyone has, I, I, I yeah, have it. Like, like literally everyone has asthma. I have yeah, it. I have it. I don't, the fuck? Why would you want to be sick your entire life and be coughing like that? I'd probably feel the same way if I were her. Am I taking crazy pills? No, Jordan, you're the only one rational there. And that's just that on the app. All jokes aside, it is kind of serious. Yeah. So, like, I'm gonna take it kind of serious. It's hard for me to care, but I'm gonna try to care. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't really mean this. I just know MTV wants it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I do kind of like how she looked at the camera. Yeah, but, like, dude, you have to, like, oh, actually here. care. Uh -huh. Should I send you Snapchat stories of me doing it every day? No, I'm literally taking it home with me, and I'll see you tomorrow morning. I'm serious. <laughs> No. Jordan, I don't know what you want from me. Pretty sure it's simple. He just wants you to take the inhaler and stop smoking. Like he's said it multiple times. I will attempt to make it better even though I do not care about it. <laughs> Shut up. Ooh, Jordan, snap! Jordan Ramona, ladies and gents. <laughs> I'm gonna bring the inhaler home with me tonight and I'll bring it back to Tana tomorrow and then the next day and the next day and then for seven more after that. Damn, he does not get paid enough for this. I'm telling you that. I don't even know how much he gets paid, but I know it's not enough. You didn't get albuterol. They gave you a full-blown steroid medication. Let's get back to the celebrating, you know, like you, you went a little off the deep end there. <laughs> Alrighty guys, that is the end of that episode. I'll be honest, that episode, even though it was the longest, felt like nothing really happened. Like I feel like all that happened is she went to the doctor, we got the diagnosis, her and her friends acted like a bunch of fools and that was it. Pretty boring stuff, not really a revelation there. But needless to say, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below your thoughts. But anyway guys, if you've not already, please make sure that you go ahead and subscribe and turn on the post notifications bell so that you never miss another upload from me and make sure that you go ahead and follow me on all my social media, which is just linked down below, as well as the link to my second channel if you want to watch more personal and chill videos from me and yeah guys that's it for me in this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope to see my next one stay safe and as always i hope that you have a great day or night wherever you're in the world bye